this is Jamie Magridge. Welcome to Jamie's Craft Table. Today I'm going to show you how I made this card. I also am going to, at the end of this video, um, give you all the details about my th th 1,000 subscriber giveaway. So please watch to the end. I'll give you all the details. Um, so to make this card, I was really trying to use some of my favorite stamps before they retire and some of my paper in that that's going to be retiring. So I'm using the Forever Blossoms. I'm using this stamp here. Um, and then I'm going to be using this Thank You from Bows and Blossoms. The only ink I'm using is Memento, so it's going to be a black and white card. I have a 2.5 by 5.5 inch piece of white. A 2 and 3 quarters by 5.5 inch piece of black. A four by five and a quarter inch piece of the beautifully penned designer series paper, four and a quarter by five and a half inch piece of black, five and a half by eight and a half piece of thick white, scored and folded at four and a quarter. Okay, so let's move these ones aside for now. Um, this one aside, we're going to bring in this piece which is two and a half by five and a half inches and I'm going to bring in this stamp here and I found it's easiest to ink this one this way because it's such a big stamp and again I'm just using Memento Tuxedo Black ink Stamp this right here. I'm going to leave a little bit of space at the bottom. Giving firm, even pressure. I'm just kind of tracing it so that I get a good coverage. It's not really necessary. I just, it's an old habit. Well, that's pretty good. It's a little bit light here. Let's turn it over and see if I can get a better image on the back side. We'll try it. If not, that's fine. Must not have had it inked well. Okay, let's try that again. Actually, stamp it down. That's better. Okay. Now I'm going to take the sentiment. Thank you out of Bows and Blossoms. I want to stamp that down here at the bottom. Oh, I got a halo. Well, I... Let's see what I can do here. I think I'm going to change it up a little. I'm going to bring in a scent. It's too big. craft on the fly. Let's bring in this. We'll change it up just a little bit. Stamp that sentiment again. I'm going to have to trim this up so I don't get that halo. It's the second time that's happened. Or just push a little bit softer. There we go. Okay, close the sink up so I don't make a mess. Let's bring in side a little bit shorter. There we go. That'll work. Okay. All right. So now let's bring in this two and three quarters by five and a half inch piece. Oh, I got ink all over me. It's going to be that kind of a day, I think. All right. I'm going to bring in my Tombow Mono Multi Glue. I'm going to 
to mount that to this piece here. And it's the same length, so it's just going to have that uh, 16th of an inch border, 8th of an inch border on either side. Okay, let's go ahead and bring this in. And I'm going to go ahead and pop it. So I'll bring in dimensionals. Okay, let's bring in our designer series paper, which is four by five and a quarter inches, and mount that to a four and a quarter by five and a half inch piece of black. So it's going to have an eighth of an inch border because it's a quarter inch smaller. Okay, let's mount that to the front of our card base, which is five and a half by eight and a half, scored and folded at four and a quarter. It's the same size as the front of the card. So I want to make sure I have it lined up with this folded edge. I need to trim the side, I can do that. Okay, I'm going to bring in dimensionals for this piece. I'm going to use six. Take the backings off. Line that up so there's about a half an inch, quarter inch of DSP showing on this side, and it is the same height as the card. Okay, still smeared that. I forgot to bring it out, but I've got the gingham ribbon. Let's make a quick bow here. Just manipulate it a little bit. Bring in my scissors. Trim that. Turn to the side. I'll put that there. Or do I want to put it up here where I had it? here I think since I got a couple smudges there I'm going to come in with these uh, metallic pearls I think they're called I don't have the label but these are retiring also they're one of my favorites because they're so tiny I'm add a couple of those on there stick. There we go. Alright, well there's a great card. And I do want to thank everybody for subscribing to my channel and watching. I really appreciate it. I just this weekend reached 1,000 subscribers. I'm thrilled. Um, it's taken me quite a long time, but I finally made it. So I am going to be having a, subscri a 1,000 subscriber giveaway. Um, there's not many rules. Be subscribed to Jamie's Craft Table. And then leave a comment on this video um, telling me that you're interested in entering. So just do hashtag enter me. And then it has to be a U.S. Um, B 
because I'm not allowed to send outside of the United States per Stampin' Up! rules. Um, most of the product is Stampin' Up! I do have a few things that aren't. Um, and I do apologize for my subscribers that are out of the country. And I just want to wish everybody good luck. And again, I want to thank you for subscribing to my channel. I really appreciate it. Um, and I will... Um, this drawing will be open until April 11th. I will draw and announce a winner on Tuesday, April 12th. Okay, and I would just like to take this opportunity again to thank everybody for subscribing and uh, watching my videos. I do still need to get um, close to 2,000 watch hours in order to get monetized. So if you would like to watch a couple videos all the way to the end, that would be greatly appreciated. Okay, thanks everybody. Have a great rest of your day, and I hope everybody can find a little bit of time to play with some stamps ink, and paper. Thank you.